I'm really pleased that 48 Labour MPs rebelled against their, their party whip last night. Uh, it was a delightful thing to see happen. But what disappoints me is the other 184, if I've got my sums right, the other 184 Labour MPs who didn't rebel. I mean, that's absolutely shocking and, and I really wish those spineless wankers had stopped sitting on their hands and would have joined their 48 colleagues to vote with the SNP, with Plaid Cymru, with the Lib Dems and with the Green Party's Caroline Lucas to oppose these horrendous measures. And, and it's no, you can't exaggerate the, the extent to which these welfare benefit cuts are going to impact upon the lives of some of the most vulnerable and poor people in society. Uh, I think it's the Institute of Fiscal Studies who have looked at the uh, impact of, uh, of the benefit cuts and they've calculated that 13 million men and women and on top of that their children as well uh, you know hundreds of thousands of children as well uh, are going to have their living standards massively affected and, and, and these are some of the poorest some of the most poor and vulnerable people you're likely to meet there are people who are disabled people who are caring for family members and relatives people who are unemployed through no fault of their own but the, the, the overwhelming majority of these people are people who are working damned hard to make ends meet. And because of these benefit cuts, they're, they're going to be really in serious problems about getting food on the table, paying the rent, paying the gas and electricity bills, paying the, the, the other bills that you've got in everyday life. Their life is going to be made absolutely impossibly difficult. and and. Looking here, just in here in Thanet, um, and just focusing on, on what's happening here, you can see the extent of the problem uh, probably a bit clearer because it's on our own doorstep. Uh, there are 16,000 households claiming child tax credit or working tax credit. There are somewhere in the region of 14,500 households who are claiming housing benefit and uh, there are, I think the figure is 26,000 children and young people under the age of 18 who are living in these households. So you're talking about a massive percentage of, 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 of the population in Thanet who depend upon tax credits, out of work benefits, uh, personal independence payment, disability living allowance, you name it. These people depend upon the, uh, the, the, the benefit system in order to get food on the plate. It's, it's not a lifestyle choice, it's a bloody miserable existence. I've done it myself and I know. And uh, when I was on the council I, I worked through, through my casework with people who were, who, who were dependent upon benefits. It's not fun, it's not, uh, it's not the life of idle luxury that people would have us believe and why the Labour Party of all parties should have took a decision to abstain on something as fundamental as this beggars belief. They've lost their moral compass, they've lost their purpose, their reason for existence has gone out of the window now. It really shows you that as a force for social progress as, as a force for making society a better place to live in, that the, the Labour Party are, are thrown in the towel. And uh, really, I think people should start thinking about coming over to the Green Party, uh, leaving the Labour Party after what happened last night. They've demonstrated that they don't care about the most vulnerable in society and I would like to think that some of those 48 MPs who rebelled last night might actually think about crossing the floor and joining the Green Party. The real opposition to the Tories is now no longer the Labour Party. Whatever they may try to have you believe, 
the real opposition is Caroline Lucas and the Green Party, the SNP, uh, Plaid Cymru and, and to a lesser degree the Liberal Democrats. That's where the fight is happening now. The Labour Party, they're just Tory light.